All right, hello everybody, welcome. Uh, today we are doing the um, Australia Aussie Specialist Training. Um, I'm not able to get into my computer, so uh, Christine's gonna be our uh, host today. So she's gonna go ahead and share her screen with us. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and follow along. Um, the link to get in is right here. Uh, go ahead and make sure you guys get signed up and then we'll go ahead and go through and walk through it together uh, again um, if you're just joining us for the first time guys um, most of the time we will follow along on our phones and then do the test together on the computer okay and don't worry most of the time we just read through but um uh at the test time guys we will work together and make sure everybody passes so um Christine, I don't show um, your screen being shared yet. Can you um, do share screen and then click on the actual um, screen and let's see if it'll come up. Do, 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 do. There you go. Oh, look at you. <laughs> All right. All right, so introduction on the profile it's asking for a consort agency i don't see travel leaders or archer hmm i didn't see that when we went into that let me look real quick hold on where does it say that because on on my screen let me um on my screen it just on that link that i sent you that just says um uh, company name and reference number so make sure you're in that link. This one right here. Because all it asks for, unless that's the second part, which I can't get to. Do, 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 do. Mine says introduction to Australia, but it has like different courses listed underneath. Okay, okay you completed, huh? Did you already complete your? Um... I didn't know. I just I, have, I haven't done anything either. <laughs> One is selling Australia, and then a couple highlights, and then geography and transport. Go ahead and click a uh, learning catalog, and let's see where we're at. I don't have a learning catalog button. You don't have that? Shit. Okay, I went back to it. Okay, I went to your screen now. Okay. All right, so we're gonna do introduction to Australia, new learning, top rating. All right, so I guess we'll start right there, introduction up at the top right there. Go ahead and click on that. Is everybody there, everybody okay? Okay, um, second part, okay. Boy, Selling Australia. I think we may need to have to start over on this one. <laughs> My, mine says um, in progress, yours says pending. Yeah, and then it says register again at the top when we've already, I've already registered. Oh, I registered twice too. You could just click register. I think it automatically registers you. Yeah, once you click register, it'll take you to the in progress. Okay. Yeah, I may need to clean my cookies or something because I can't get in. <laughs> All right, so in progress. So is everybody at the same page? So Bridget on the second profile page, um, uh, Christine, do you have your profile? Can you click up on the right hand side um, where it says hi Christine and, and see if it shows you the profile? Click click there, up there. Just that on your picture. Yeah, click. See if it opens up to show you your profile. 
I just want to see what you put there. I I keep getting the um, Zoom thing in in the way. Okay, hold on here. There we go. All right, doesn't say. Um, I don't know, Bridget, did you figure it out yet? Or did anybody on the second page, she's saying that it says, uh, doesn't show Archer Travel or Travel Leaders Network. All right, Christine, go ahead and, and open your page fully so we can see again. Okay. Thank you. There we go. Not there. All right, does anybody, Christine, do you remember on the second page when you finished your certification? Um, yeah, she's saying that there's a second page to the link and that's where it's asking her um, to complete the profile page and it doesn't have Archer Travel. But for some reason, I can't even get in. I'm gonna try a different one. When you did the registering, it should have had you type in that you were affiliated with Archer Travel and then put your IATA number when you registered. And then right. when it goes in the profile, it should have popped up on there. It didn't have you type in your I, the IATA number and stuff? It had me do it. Yeah, I did too. Because that's, that's how it's going to show Archer. That There's no drop down for it. You did put the number in? Because uh, right on your profile, it should, it should say it on there. Already, there's no there's no drop down. I don't know which screen it took you to. I don't know. Do you guys want to reschedule? <laughs> I can't. Yeah. I'm working. I don't, is yours not working? I just click uh, well, on launch and then it goes. And where are we clicking on to go? Launch on Selling Australia. Right. Okay. To the right. Launch. All right. It took a minute for it to load, but. Boy, what was it last week? It was taken forever for our uh, European one. Right. Has anybody done Australia yet? No. Tasmania or something like that. No. Yeah, Sandy, I'm having trouble. That's why I had to give uh, Christine my, my link or to, to give her uh, access, because I i don't have access. Uh, Christine, are you able to open it up more or no? Uh, it's trying to open now. Um, as far as your screen, it looks like it's a half a screen. I, I don't know, maybe it, up on the top right. No, it's as far open as mine goes. It's a wide screen monitor. Got it, okay, thank you. Thank you. 
All right. Do, do, do. Slowly but surely it's coming up. <laughs> Eventually. Let's hope it's open before you leave on your trip. Yeah, is everybody else having the same trouble? Is it slow for you guys? Okay, so it's open now. So then we All can right. click, let's, let's start. start. All right, so help tutorial navigation. So this tells you how to navigate. All right, tutorial will show you how to move towards selling. Let's get started. How about the vo volume? Is there any volume? Or is it just send in messages. Boy, guys, sorry, it's usually not this difficult. It's just music. Okay. Boy, I tell you, this is. <laughs> A little tough one, huh? Every, every different class has its own inherent, you know, idiosyncrasy. So. Uh -huh. Well, I guess that really didn't do much close video. <laughs> All right, so this is just telling us how to do it. So let's, uh, I mean, I guess we pretty much, I would go ahead to the next screen, yeah. Okay. Yeah, horrible loading. I don't know what's, what's I guess it's because uh, it's Australia. <laughs> All right, so we do objective one. Let's see where we're at. Oh, look. What's his name in uh, Finding Nemo? Crush. Crush, that's it. <laughs> All right, show your customers that there's nothing like Australia by out lining the key selling points. Okay, what are those? Select objective to show more info. Overcome any barriers that your customers might have when they're planning their Australian holidays. So, um, do, do, do. How many weeks are we going to be working on Australia? <laughs> wow, this is crazy. <laughs> oh, okay. Just for connection, because mine loaded fairly quickly. Oh, it did? Okay. So it says uh, safety, security, attractions, value for money, food and wine. So select each picture. So safety, according to consumer, Australia is consistent, consistently rated as one of the world's safest holidays destinations with a stable political system combined with its relatively low crime rate, patrolled beaches, well-maintained roads, and high standard of health care. Australia is a safe and easy country to explore. What's more, Australians are well known for their friendly and welcoming attitude. Let's see what attractions they have. Uh, home to a large number of interesting attractions, both natural and man-made. Travelers can visit world-famous icons such as the Sydney Opera House, uh, Yoloru, and the Great Barrier Reef. They can also get up close to Australia's unique wildlife in national parks, sanctuaries, and aquariums. Australia is home to a large number of UNESCO World Heritage Sites, and its cities are filled with fascinating museums, art galleries, and theaters. 
And the value of the, for money, our research shows that visitors rate Australia highly for value for money. Even the most budget conscious traveler can enjoy an Aussie barbecue or fish and chips on the beach and it costs next to nothing to take a scenic ferry right across Sydney Harbor or watch kangaroos bound around their ha natural habitat. Australia is full of experiences that can't be had anywhere else on earth and the memories they provide are priceless. All right, food and wine, good food and wine. Consumers research has shown that people are often willing to organize their holidays around the availability of good food and wine. Travelers in Australia are delighted by the quality of its culinary culture, as well as the stunning locations where it can be enjoyed. Indeed, many visitors rank Australian food and wine among the best in the world. And then natural beauty. Australia offers stunning landscapes ranging from ancient rainforests, national parks and mountains to beaches, waterways and reefs. These unspoiled environments are home to the unique native wildlife. Your customers can look forward to the unforgettable experience of seeing a kangaroo, wombat, a koala in the wild. If they're lucky, they may even spot the elusive platypus. That would be fun, huh? All right, loading, loading, doo, doo, doo. Yeah, I think it's your connection because mine's already up. <laughs> and I have high speed internet. <laughs> John lost internet, he had to refresh. So how about you, Sandy, is yours coming up? I'm going to try to sign in under my boyfriend's name and see. I can't get anything to come up when I click up Justice Karras says. <laughs> All right, drag each Australian experience into one of the key motivators categories below. All right, so go ahead and what's below? I can't, I kind of, so what are we doing? The koala bear. So the koala bear would be iconic uh, sites. Great Barrier beach picnics we've got five at the top and four at the bottom so oh there okay winery would be food and okay. wine landscape so the unique wildlife would go into uh, natural beauty try that the great barrier reef so just drag them down is okay. that an attraction or natural beauty Delicious seafood. Just drop. All right. Delicious seafood, food and wine. All right. And we'll Wineries would be food and wine. I guess safety and security would be well-maintained roads. Sounds good to me. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Attractions. I think attractions was a great barrier reef. Okay. Stunning landscapes would be natural beauty. All right. I think I got in. Oh, good. Um, value for your money. The Iconic. beach is the value for your money. Is that you, Marnie? Um, no, but I can go ahead and take it back if you want. Oh, yeah, please do. 
Thank you. Please do. All right. Let me go ahead and click back here. Share screen. All right. Uh, Sorry, guys, for this confusion. Okay, but you're going to have to help me with the test again. So, okay, introduction. We're going to go to there, and then we're going to um, Selling Australia, right? That. Hit register. There we go. Okay. All right. I'll get there quick. Hold on. All right, Are you Australia launch. Yep, I got my modem right here. <laughs> Do you see my screen, guys? No. How about now? I mean, it's loading. Yeah, I see it now. Okay, cool. All right, there we go. Yay. All right, let's start. We finished that part already. We finished that part already. Oh, shoot. Okay, there we go. All right, finished that part. Now we got to... All right. So safety and security, that's, we'll maintain roads, attractions, value for the money, food and wine, wineries, natural beauty, what about wildlife? Attractions. Okay. Are we okay. good? Well, so <laughs> what was the ancient rainforest? Um, what was it? Uh, it was natural beauty. Natural beauty, probably. Okay. All right. So overcoming barriers to booking an Australian holiday for long haul markets. Australia is a mid to long haul destination for most travelers. However, in today's larger and more comfortable aircraft, their time in the sky is a welcome opportunity. Sit back, relax, watch some movies and have a nap. For those who wish to break up their journey, there are many desirable stopovers. It's too expensive in comparison to other long haul destinations, airfares to Australia are surprisingly good value, especially during the off season, which is still a great time to visit Australia. Airlines will also introduce special airfares throughout the year, encourage your international customers to pre-book as many experiences as possible before their departure, saving them time when in Australia and more commission for you. I don't have enough time. No matter how long they have, there's an itinerary to suit every client. There is so much your customers can see within any time frame, whether a weekend getaway, a week or longer, two or three weeks gives them enough time to visit special des several destinations as part of a multi-center itinerary. Module three of this program will show you how to create itineraries based on your customers' needs and wants. Great weather, vibrant cities, incredible journeys. So great weather. Australia is famous for its blue skies and sunshine. The weather is generally, um, generally temp temperate and pleasant throughout the year. Even Australia's winters, June through August, is quite mild. The average winter temperature in Sydney is 16 degrees, 60 percent Fahrenheit. This coincides with the beautiful dry season in Australia's tropical north. This means that there's never a bad time to explore Australia. Vibrant cities. Australia's vibrant cities offer the perfect balance between laid back living and cosmopolitan culture. Each one is home to stylish precincts and restaurants, as well as shops, theaters, and bars. They're all fantastic places to begin or finish an Australian adventure. Incredible journeys. In Australia, the journey matters as much as a destination. Visitors can relax on an epic rail tour, take a me meandering cruise through tropical waters, embark on an adventurous drive through the outback, or hike through stunning scenery in one of Australia's many national parks. 
And then coastal lifestyle, Australia is one of the world's largest islands, so it's no surprise that its beaches have become an integral part of the local lifestyle. Travelers will quickly learn that there's more to do than just lays on one of Australia's glorious beaches. They can also work, uh, walk along stunning cliff tops, enjoy beachside meals of delicious seafood, learn to surf sail around Emerald Green Islands and join a fishing expedition. Um, in indigenous culture. Australia's indigenous peoples have um, inhabited the continent for more than 50,000 years, making them the custodians of the world's oldest continuous culture. Visitors to these communities can learn directly from Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders by participating in various culture activities, including expeditions to gather bush food visits um, to remote coastal communities. They can also enjoy numerous cultural festivals and art workshops. Outback Australia, um, vast interior is often referred to as the Outback, a land of dark red earth, star sky, star filled skies, and character-filled pubs. It's also home to many of Australia's most famous native animals. In addition to the red earth, travelers will find beautiful water holes and waterfalls, as well as impressive expanses of lush green vegetation. Nature and wildlife, a land of incredible diversity. Mention Australia and most people will think of its unique and wonderful wildlife, from koalas and kangaroos to wombats and emus. Travelers can get up close to these animals in sanctuaries, wildlife parks, and aquariums, or they can search for them in the wild. This will take them into Australia's stunning natural environment, dramatic coastlines, red deserts, ancient rainforests, and vibrant reefs. All right, next. Um, when is the best time to visit Australia? Australia, spring and summer, Australians autumn and fall, anytime. Anytime. Say anytime, right. Well done. Your customers will have a wonderful time in Australia whenever they go. Even the one winter months are relatively mild and the best time to explore the tropical north. I have to say, not according to my friends that live down there, that you don't want to go in the, in, in the winter months for them, which is our summer. Okay. <laughs> That's what they say. Yeah. Well, we'll have to check it out for ourselves, huh? I know. All right. What's in it for you? Not only is an Australian holiday a unique experience for your customers, their holidays can also be valuable to you. Cross-selling opportunities. An Australian holiday can include numerous experiences that are best pre-booked via an Aussie specialist like you. Encourage your customers to book these as early as possible. This saves them money and stress and means more commission for you. Um, and again, guys, I don't know if you know, but um, uh, holidays are vacations in you know European um, ways. So I don't know if you ever saw that uh, holiday uh, with... Uh, What's her name? Cameron Diaz. <laughs> All right. Upselling opportunities. There are many opportunities for tourists in Australia to upgrade their experiences, be it by selecting a more comfortable seat on the plane or choosing a higher grade of accommodation. These upgrades are often surprisingly affordable, which again means more commission for you. Yes. Who wants more money? All right. Research shows that many people travel around Australia more than once, exploring different parts of the country each time. Do, do, do. All right. Why North Americans love Australia? Well, similar culture. They speak the same language. Hold on. 3 p.m. Um, they use dollars, that is Australian dollars, and share similar values. North Americans will feel right at home. reasons to visit Australia. Sorry. Hold on feel right at home in Australia. Also as part of the British Commonwealth, Canada and Australia have close ties, both politically and culturally. They even share the same queen. Sporting event, um, the Australian Open, the Australian Grand Prix, the Australian Open Golf and the Melbourne Cup all captivate North Americans' interest each year as global sporting events. Incorporating these events in your customer's itinerary will provide a definite highlight. 
And then wildlife. Um, Australia's natural beauty and unique wildlife is a major draw card for North American visitors and with good reason. The continent has some of the most intriguing manual, mammals within the animal kingdom and boasts the greatest number of epidemic bird species, reptile species and marine species of any country on earth. All right, almost done. There's still nothing like Australia. An Australian holiday offers a range of life-changing and unique experiences that can be enjoyed um, anywhere else, that can't be enjoyed anywhere else. Watch There's Still Nothing Like Australia film and arrange the highlights below in the order which they appear in the video. Okay. There's still so many reasons to visit Australia right now. Is that right, Barry? <laughs> There's still tables with the best views. There's still the world's oldest living culture. There's still Australia's famous locals. Ah. There's still a world of art to explore. There's still more stories to tell. There's still delicious flavors that you haven't experienced yet. There's still time for a long lunch. There's still... I'm not going to spoil it. Wow, isn't that beautiful? There's still the road less traveled. There's still the best seats in the house. Oh, wait, hang on a sec, you got time. <laughs> Thanks, John. Still nothing like Australia. So John helped us out. Thank you very much. I didn't know how we were to know all that, but I'm glad you did. <laughs> all right, so you guys got that? Kangaroo, Tasmanian, uh, Northern Territory, Western Australia, Queensland, and North New South Wales. Oh, okay, perfect, thank you. See? You were paying attention. I was like, wait, I don't understand. None of these words are coming up. <laughs> All right, so a summary. You have nearly finished your first module, about time, of the Aussie Specialist Program. It's time to review what you've learned. Learned. Uh, research shows that customers choose holiday destinations because they contain interesting attractions, provide value for money, offer delicious food and wine, promise natural beauty, and offer safety and security. Australia satisfies all these key motivators. Australia is a place where your customers can embark on exciting journeys across beautiful landscapes, discover vibrant cities, learn about the world's oldest continuous culture, uh, savor some of the world's best food and wine, explore the legendary outback, enjoy a laid back coastal lifestyle, get close to unique and wonderful wildlife, and enjoy great weather year round. All right, congratulations, you passed module one. You're now aware of how you can sell Australia to your customers. The next module will go through the states and territories as well as some of the new most exciting attractions. You've got your badge. Yay. Congratulations. Whoop, whoop.
All right, guys, past one. Now we go to the second one. Very good. All right, so achievement one. So now we go to, is it this one? That's completed, successful. So go back. And it's always fun trying to figure out where to go. <laughs> All right, so here, next, highlights, all right? Let me know if you guys need any help getting there. Do, 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 do. All right, Australian highlights, let's start. The module is designed to introduce some of the key experiences your customers can have while exploring the Australian states and territory of Queensland, North South Wales, Victoria and Australian capital territory. From stunning coastlines through to ancient, um, uh, sorry, my daughter's calling, uh, rainforest, unique wildlife, vibrant cities, and indigenous culture. Hi, dear. Um, Australia offers something for everybody. What's up? Um, Austin just got a direct deposit of like three hundred and forty dollars from something from Florida called Bender Biz, Florida Profit Corporation. That doesn't have to do with thing, does it? I don't think so. But I'll call you right back when I'm done, and then I'll tell you. Okay. Love you. Bye. Love you. All right, sorry. All right, so objective one, share the key state, territory, and city highlights for Queensland, North Sale, Wales, Victoria, and Australian capital territory with your customers. Objective two, locate Queensland, North Sale, um, South Wales, Victoria, and the Australian capital territory and their capital cities. All right, and then you have Queensland. Do, do, do. Click the next button to explore. Okay, King Queensland, North Sail Wales, Australian, and Victoria. All right, so welcome to Queensland, the Great Barrier Reef, the snorkeling, the Great Barrier Reef, Carnes, and the Great Barrier Reef region. Wildlife and natural encounters, uh, kangaroos at Cape Hillsbury, Hillsborough, and McKay Islands and beaches. Um, Badera Island, Carnes, and Great Barrier Reef region, and Brisbane uh, River, Brisbane. All right, next. Highlights of Queensland. Queensland's famously known as the place where life is beautiful one day, perfect the next. It is a destination that boasts spectacular scenery and unparalleled na na nature experiences. Enjoy bustling cultural brief precincts and award-winning dining experiences in buzzing Riverside capital city of Brisbane before soaking up the relaxed beach lifestyle of the Gold Coast or the Sunshine Coast, both offering iconic surf breaks and beaches, as well as national parks. Continue north and experience the 74 jewel-like islands that make up the Whitsundays, as well as Carnes and Great Barrier Reef region to where the rainforest meets the reef.
All right. Beautiful, huh, guys? All right, the Great Barrier Reef, uh, rich in biodiversity and natural wonder, the World Heritage listed Great Barrier Reef as the world's largest coral reef system, stretching from the tip of Cape York in Queensland North all the way to Bundaberg in the South. It comprises more than 2,900 individual reefs that stretch along 2,300 kilometers, uh, 1,400 miles of Queensland's coastline. Key access point include Point Douglas, Carnes, Townsville, Whit Sundays, Gladstone, Yepon, a uh, town of 1770, and Bundaberg. There are so many uh, ways to experience the reef, dive in, snorkel it, sail it, sleep on it, kayak, kayak it, learn about it, fly above it. Any way you choose, you'll enjoy plenty of coral reefs and colorful marine life. Recommend duration one to three days. All right, and then you see all these different ones. All right. Wildlife and nat natural in, um, encounters. If you're after wildlife and natural uh, nature encounters, Queensland has some awesome locals for you to meet. Dive with manta rays and turtles at Lady Elliot Island. Wave at humpback whales in Hervey Bay. Watch the sunrise with the wallabies at Cape Hillsborough. Or hand feed wild dolphins on Moreton Island. Relax by exploring nearby World Heritage listed areas, including the Dane Tree National Park and the Gondwana Rainforest. Uh, recommend uh, one to four days. All right, island and beaches. Queensland has no shortage of beaches to explore. Surfers from around the world head to the renowned breaks of the Gold Coast and Noosa. Drive the sandy highway along the side, the colored uh, dunes um, of Rainbow Beach on the Sunrise Sunshine Coast, or stroll along Whitehaven Beach in the Whit Sundays. Often voted the most beautiful beach in Australia. As for islands, take your picks from over 900 islands sprinkled along Queensland coast to suit every traveler. There's a variety of accommodation options available from camping out under a sea of stars, indulging in a secluded luxury lodge or a family oriented resort getaway. Recommended duration, three to seven days. Brisbane. Welcome to Brisbane, a cosmopolitan hub for art, culture, and dining with stunning natural assets, clear blue skies all year round, and a subtropical uh, alfresco lifestyle. Brisbane is an urban metropol metropolis with a relaxed vibe. Mix with the locals at weekend markets, explore parklands and laneways, or a city skyline swim at streets beach in South Bay. If you're looking for a country getaway that's accessible yet feels a world away from the city, head to the scenic rim region or take a short ferry ride to Moortown Island, the, large, the third largest sand island in the world. Both are less than an hour from the city. Recommendation duration, two to three days. Um, experience nature in Brisbane, experience nature on the doorstep with a wilderness adventure through Brisbane's subtropical landscape, take a ferry to Moortown Bay and enjoy sandboarding, quad bike tours and dolphin feeding. Visit Lone Pine Koala Sanctuary to cuddle a koala and feed the resident um, kangaroos. Brisbane hosts entertaining events involving uh, festivals, sports expeditions, sensational stage productions, in a variety of world-class venues. Check out Queensland Great Event Calendar to ensure you're not missing out. Uh, Brisbane South Bank is home to Gallery of Modern Art, which holds Australia's largest contemporary art collection. It also boasts Australia's only inner city beach and Queensland Performing Arts Center. Visitors can also enjoy free admission to the Queensland Art Gallery, Queensland Museum, and Science Center. Uh, use the arrows to go further, okay. All right, next. All right, so Queensland's highlights. So um, drag and drop the message above into the correct postcard. All right, I keep getting kicked out. Are you one after selling Australia? Yes, that's where we're at. Um, Australia highlights module two. We went sailing and snorkeling, did some snorkeling straight off the boat. That be here. Went wildlife hunting here. Hopping in the Percha Picture Paradise here. And here, would you say? 
Let's try it. Sorry, not quite right. Not quite right, ma'am. Um, went whale watching up close personal with the majesties of the sea. That would be this, right? The, the straight off the boat is the Great Barrier Reef. The, um, the Deer Aussie Specialist Picture Perfect is the islands. And then you have the wildlife, right? Picture Perfect is the island. And here, there? Yep. Perfect. Well done. All right. Thank you very much. Highlights is different from selling. Okay. I don't know what that means. Modules. Okay. All right. Yeah, we're in the highlights one. All right. Um, Brisbane activities. All right, so you've got the water, you've got the interior, and then here. So hand-filled wildlife dolphins here, art gallery here, gorgeous day here. Yep. Okay, you got that? Everybody there? Yep. Okay, perfect. All right, now we're doing North, North no, New South Wales, Blue Mountains. Oops, hanging rocks at the Blue Mountains, Hunter Valley, picnic at the Hunter Valley, the pass at Byron Bay, and Sydney Harbor Bridge at Sydney Bay. All right, so the highlights. Let's ride through the vibrant city, explore the Blue Mountains, wine rich Hunter Valley, you'll find coastal Byron. Bay and Dolphin filled Jervis Bay to the south. Picturesque world of national parks. The Great Blue Mountain, Blue Mountain World Heritage Area is one of the Australia's most spectacular natural attractions. Visit Scenic World for stunning panoramic views of the region or head to Jonah Lawn Caves for an underground adventure. You can learn about Aboriginal history and culture on guided walks and by visiting art exhibitions. You can browse gift shops for unique um, and or for antique souvenirs, books, confectionery, fine art, and more. Hikers of all ages will love the many bush marks, uh, bush walks in the Blue Mountains, making it a perfect holiday destination for families, nature lovers, and adventure seekers. Uh, one to three days. Okay. Hunter Valley, Australia's most visited wine region. The Hunter Valley is home to more than 150 world-class wineries, vineyards, and cellar doors, as well as numerous superb restaurants. Enjoy the perfect escape, whether you're being pampered in one of the Valley's day spas or teeing off at a championship golf course. Visit historic towns such as Morpeth, Wallombi, and Broke, where you can buy freshly made sourdough bread, handmade cheese, chocolates, and olives. Then you have Byron Bay, renowned for its upmarket alternative style and majestic natural beauty with rainforest, volcanic uh, mountains, and long stretches of golden sand. It's a perfect place to relax. You can kayak with friendly dolphins, relax on a beach, and enjoy the sunrise from Australia's easternmost point. Cape Byron, enjoy locally grown coffee or tea, taste tropical fruits, and dine out at a fresh seafood. Few other seaside towns offer such a diversity of fabulous dining options, a treasure all year round. Byron Bay is especially popular between May and September when visitors can use its unique vantage points to watch whales cruise um, through the ocean on their annual migrations. 
Sydney, one of the most dynamic cities. Sydney contains an abundance of natural sites from national parks and botanic gardens to pristine waterways and native bushland. These offer endless ways to enjoy outdoor leisure pursuits. The city also offers, um, has championship golf courses, scenic coastal walks, surfing and cycling tours, and a whale watching cruise. You'll be captivated by Sydney's wide range um, ranging cultural life, its dynamic food scene, and its contemporary and col colonial architecture. Time your trip right, and you can join one of the city's famous celebrations, New Year's Eve, Mardi Gras, and the Sydney Festival, or the Sydney International Art Series. The Opera House, one of the most uh, distinctive buildings, the Sydney Opera House, is an architectural triumph that attracts millions of visitors year round with the world heritage listing and a reputation for attracting high profile performers the sydney opera house is a thriving hub of art culture and history take a guided tour enjoy a performance or sip a cocktail by the harbor sydney harbor is a blue big blue playground that bustles with ferries yachts cruise liners and kayaks lays on a sharp chartered boat unwind on a cruise or enjoy a ferry ride from circular Koi to Manly, visit uh, Sydney Harbor Islands or the Sydney Harbor National Park, where you can enjoy scenic harbor side walks. Sydney beaches, explore iconic beaches such as Bondi and Manly, or go further afield to DY and Palm Beach. You can also discover harbor beaches such as Balmoral and Nielsen Park. No matter which beach you visit, you're sure to find all the same wonderful things, wave pools, cafes, bars, coastal scenery, and great shopping. All right, now let's go ahead and match it up. So you have um, waterway, here's perfect blue, found vantage point where we can see the whales and swimming. The Blue Mountain. Byron. Byron, okay. And the wine, Hunter Valley, and plentiful scenery here. Well done, very good. Okay, so Blue Mountains is the beautiful scenery. Byron Bay is seeing the whales and Hunter Valley is the wine. All right, then you have the Opera House. I know that one. All right, and then you have um, spectacular views at Sydney Harbor and then the perfect day for swimming right here and here. Yep. All right, so you got the beach there, you've got the Opera House here and Sydney Harbor here. All right, welcome to Victoria. Great Ocean Road, uh, 12 Apostles, you have penguins at Phillip Island, wine tasting in Yarra Valley and Melbourne City. So let's talk about those. Revel in Melbourne's renowned culture with laneways, galleries, and more. Beyond, you'll discover the Great Ocean Road, Yara's Valley celebrated winery, stunning Macedonia. Meet fairy penguins on Phillip Island, take a houseboat down Murray Tire, or hike the ancient landscapes of the Grampians National Park. Ocean Road, uh, one of the world's most scenic coastal touring routes spanning 243 kilometers of Victoria's southwest coastline, offers breathtaking panoramic views of the ocean as it winds along cliff tops across spectacular headlands 
and through a magical sequence of beaches, river estuary, estuaries, and untouched rainforests. Highlights include the 12 Apostles, an ancient rock formation rising out of the sea. The Lockard Gorge, the Great Ocean Walk, is 104, 104 kilometer long coastal hike that finishes at the 12 Apostles and offers an unforgettable nat nature experience. Phillips Island, wildlife abounds on Phillip Island, which is less than two hours drive from Melbourne. Get up close to the gorgeous little penguins and come close to face to face with snoozing koalas. Unwind at boutique accommodations in cows and rao while you wake up to the sound of waves breaking on shore. Pick up fresh seafood in San Remo or cross the bridge to the village of New Haven to catch your own. Once a year, Phillip Island swarms with motorcycle fanatics who gather to cheer on their heroes at the Australian Motorcycle Grand Prix. Yara Valley is the birthplace of Victorian winemaking and region passionate about its food and wine. It contains numerous villages surrounded by rolling hills and lush pastures against a backdrop of blue mountains for an exciting bird's, view, I view, bird's eye view. Take in the skies in a hot air balloon before descending to enjoy a vineyard breakfast ah, of sparkling wine and freshly picked produce. At Healesville Sanctuary uh, Wildlife Park, you can see native Australian birds and animals, including the elusive platypus. For a cultural experience, visit the Tarawara Museum of Art or one of the many other artist studios dotted around the region. And then you have Melbourne, the city that hides its best venues, rewarding those who dare to explore. This exploration becomes part of the city's allure as you venture through laneways down into basements and up onto the city's rooftops. Discover Melbourne street art and its irresistible restaurant and culture, coffee culture. There's something for everyone from buzzing inner suburb, suburbs like Fitzroy that ex ex exudes um, bohemian style to beachside destinations such as St. Kilda, which is renowned for its bars, nightclubs, and kite surfing culture. And then you have Melbourne's Laneways arc Arcades, um, famous for its creative laneways uh, with their co covered boutiques, hole in the wall cafes, and astonishing bars. Take a break from the mainstream and head down alleys decorated with stencil work, light boxes, and quirky sculptures. South Bank, enjoy Melbourne's multi multicultural cuisine at stylish city restaurants while enjoying awe-inspiring views of the Yarra River. Afterwards, you can stroll along the river banks or take a harbor cruise. Visit the Crown Melbourne for even more shopping and indulgence. And then Fitzroy is the upbeat center of Melbourne's alternative culture. Brunswick Street is the main strip and offers antique stores, specialist bookshops, and vintage clothing boutiques. In Gertrude Street, you'll find bars, restaurants, galleries, and classic Australian pubs. All right, next. All right, the Great Ocean Road, Phillip Island, and Yarra Valley. So you have penguins here at Phillip Island. Uh, the wine tasting here, and then along the nice road, right? Everybody got that? Hit submit. Yes, well done. All right, almost done. Then you have the fun day exploring the city, the magical views of the river, and then laneways filled with cafes and restaurants. So which one's rich? I think this one is here, right? Which one? Here? Melbourne's laneways, small, and then this is. So I which keep talking on mute. Sorry, Fun Day is the first one. We loved Melbourne's the second one, and Magical Views is the last one. Thank you. Very good. All right, you guys got that. Fitzroy is the first one, and the Melbourne is the second one, and then the water. Perfect. Thank you. All right. Welcome to Australian Capital Territory. Enjoy Canberra's buzzing cafe scene and Canberra um, District Wine Region, uh, Nabaji National Park, which is outdoors in nature, family fun at Questacon and National Gallery of Australia. All right, so highlights. Nothing like the Capital Territory. Begin in the National Capital 
Cam Berry to visit world-class galleries and museums that tell and share Australia's stories. Find fun for the whole family at the countless attractions all within easy reach. Venture into the great outdoors and find stunning national park and beautiful cool climate wine region all on the doorstep of the city. All right. Do, 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 do. All right, food and wine. Canberra um, is paradise for foodies and coffee enthusiasts with its truly eclectic uh, mix of dining styles, cuisines, and experiences with award winning restaurants, breweries, vineyards, and coffees, cafes run by Australian champion. Baristas, people have been um, known to come to Canberra um, just for the delicious food and drink and offer. Small enough to have an intimate cellar door experience, large enough to offer a variety of premium growing region that Canberra's wine uh, district. The region is home to 140 vineyards and more than 30 boutique cellar doors, most within 35 minutes drive of the city. You can sample the award-winning wines while watching Kangaroos Lounge in the vineyards. Uh, outdoor nature is a natural outdoor playground with extensive cycle paths, um, walking and mountain bike trails, climbing uh, facades and paddling opportunities. You can take a scenic bushwalk on uh, Mount Ansley uh, right in the heart of the city and enjoy spectacular views across Canberra and surrounds. Take a self-chartered picnic boat out on Lake Burley, Griffin or float over this magnificent waterway in a hot air balloon at sunrise. Venture out to surrounding national parks and spot Australian native animals such as kangaroos, wallabies, wombats, and koalas in their natural habitat. Habitat, you'll discover waterfalls, gorges, rivers, lookouts, and snow-capped mountains. Then you have family fun. Canberra is perfect for parents looking to keep their kids entertainment while also looking for some rest and recreation for themselves. The kids can explore uh, Canberra's many varied uh, playgrounds, parks, and picnic spots, or the many attractions designed to appeal to their curious minds. Learn about the mysteries of science at uh, Questacon, the National Science and Technology Center, encounter a 150 150 million year old dinosaur bone at the National Dinosaur Museum or venture into the delightful display of meticulously crafted miniature buildings at Cockington Green Gardens. Uh, art and culture, unearth the treasures of Australia at one of Canberra's many national attractions and galleries. View the largest collection of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander artwork in the world of the National Gallery of Australia. See democracy in action in Australian's Parliament House and discover the timeline of the nation at the National Museum of Australia. Many of Canberra's uh, museum and galleries can be found dotted around like Burley Griffin. Hire a bike or take a walk around the picturesque lake path to discover these great attractions. Australian War Memor Memorial. A visit to the Australian uh, War Memorial is vital for anyone who wants to understand Australian history. This incredible building combines a shrine, a world-class museum, and an extensive archive. It is well worth staying for the daily closing last post ceremony. 
where an, an individual Australian service person who lost their life in war is honored in a moving service, often with their relatives present. Then you have the National Gallery. Any traveler interested in art will find a visit to the Australian preeminent public gallery a must do. Some of Australia's most famous artworks and housed, are housed here, including the enormous collection of incredible Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander art. Also, the gallery often hosts blockbuster exhibitions um, of some of the world's greatest artists. Doo -doo -doo. The National Museum of Australia is social history museum and aims to tell the Australian story. Well worth a visit to learn more about the Australian culture. The museum has a mind blowing collection of objects from the sacred to the quirky and bizarre, showing that humor is an essential part of the Australian culture. All right, almost done guys. Food and wine, outdoor nature and family fun. All right, so fun and silence for the kids, science for the kids. Food and wine, I would say right here. And then the mountain biking outdoors. Yes. Okay, you guys got that? All right, let's move on. And then we have um, the museum, the ceremony, the war. So we'll put this here. This is the museum, right? or the National Gallery, which one is Australian Culture Natural Museum and an artwork. Fascinating Museum and Incredible Moving Past Last Service. That one's that one. Which one is it, guys? The first one is the uh, last post. The second one is the uh, National Museum. And the third one is the National Gallery. OK, National Gallery is there and museum. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> I got one right. No. <laughs> All right, final activity. We now explored four states and territories of Australia. Match the capital city to its state or territory. Drag the city pin onto the correct state or territory. And let's go. All right. I need your guys' help on this. Western Australia. Northern Territory, Queensland. <laughs> I think um, Canberra is Western, right? Canberra, oops. I think so. Drag the city pin. Is this, there we go. Maybe it's not right. <laughs> oh, there, North Wales, okay. Maybe. Melbourne. Melbourne, Victoria. Where's Sydney? New South Wales. Okay, thank you. Melbourne. Melbourne's in uh, Victoria. Yeah, just above the hump. There you go. And then and Brisbane. Brisbane is right below Queensland. Up, up, right. Well, too far. There you go. Perfect. Yay, guys. Thank you. Well done. All right. Summary, you're nearly, you've nearly finished second module. You can now share the key highlights and capital cities of each Australian state and territory we explored with your customers. Queensland, Brisbane is the capital of Queensland. The key highlights of Queensland are the Great Barrier Reef, islands and beaches, nature and wildlife. Australian capital territory, Canberra is the capital city of Australian capital territory. Key highlights are the Australian capital territory, family fun, arts and culture, and food and wine. North New South Wales, Sydney is the capital city of New South Wales. The key highlights of the New South Wales are the Blue Mountains, Hunter Valley, and Byron Bay. 
And then Victoria, Melbourne is the capital city of Victoria. Key highlights are Victoria are the Great Ocean Road, Yarra Valley and the Phillip Island with the little penguins. All right, congratulations, you've passed module two. You now know the highlights of Queensland. In the next module, you'll explore the highlights of the four states of Australia. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end for today only because I do have to go get my COVID shot for the cruise. Um, but I apologize that we didn't get started on time. Um, I will have somebody covering next Friday. Uh, so we'll hopefully get through these three next Friday. Okay, just three more to do. Um, so we're almost halfway done. So again, I appreciate you guys coming on board. Um, Monday, we're going to finish AM Resorts. If you haven't completed that, um, we do have it here in my YouTube channel, the first part. So make sure you jump on that so you can finish um, that one with us on Monday. Okay, right here, AM Resorts Certificate Training, okay? Um, and then this one will be on here also for you if you missed any of them. And then, of course, Sunday is um, Courtney is finishing up with, um, I think, probably Princess. She's on part five. I think there's like nine. So we're doing like catch ups on Sundays. OK, um, otherwise, start giving me some ideas uh, for next month. If you guys have any, throw them out now and I'll write them down and we can schedule for next month. What do you guys want to learn about, do training on, et cetera? Um, throw them out there for me, talk, you know, give them to me now if you want, or send me a message, um, anything you guys want to see. Um, I know um, on Monday we're doing OTT. Um, there's a bunch of new things on here. I don't think that's not it. Leave here. All right. So, um, so different ones that we'll do training on. So let me know um, if there's any special ones you guys want to do. Um, that's Cape Town, Cook Islands, Japan, Bosnia, Denmark. We did Denmark. We did England Originals. Um, Nashville would be kind of fun. Um, and then let's see if there's any new ones here. Travel Academy. Second half of, oh yeah, we got to do that. Okay, perfect. That'll be our first one because I know I got an email on that. So Virgin Voyages, we'll do the second half on that. Again, if you missed out on the first half, we do have it here in the, the uh, YouTube. Uh, so let's see if they have any new ones here. Um, coming soon, newest courses. Okay, we've done that. Panama, Tampa Bay. So that doesn't look like they have much new ones. All right. Um, so Virgin Voyages, I will get the link out for you on the new um, ones for next month, just like this month. Um, we have the link in uh, Rising Tide. So this site is Travel Agent Academy. Um, this one has a lot of the ones that we did already. And then again, all the answers are in the, thank you, John, in the YouTube Academy. And then um, or right here, the YouTube channel, um, you'll see all the ones we've done. We've done uh, Japan, Princess, um, Denmark, Panama, Hawaiian Islands. Uh, so all the answers are here for you guys. Um, Disney, Disney's a big one, Universal. So um, catch them on here. And again, I'll go ahead and put these recordings out there also. So start thinking of some trainings you wanna do for next month. Uh, I will put Virgin Voyages out there. And then again, we do these on Mondays and Fridays. And then Sundays are our catch-up days, okay? All right. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, an amazing day. Um, for any of the that does team building, congratulations, hopefully, on getting paid today. And um, hopefully, we will see you. Um, I'll be on a cruise next week. But hopefully, I'll be able to get on and do some trainings and stuff, or at least be on board to to say hi, see you guys and stuff. Otherwise, uh, tomorrow I'm doing um, our incentive vouchers and accountability. So that's at noon tomorrow. If you guys can make it, I know a lot of you are doing the um, the uh, boot camp in in uh, 
California. So if you can't make it, um, I do have everything recorded here in my YouTube channel. So you guys can catch up. Um, also, I have short little videos here for you guys. Um, how to do a commission form, how to um, register with the vendor. Um, I know somebody mentioned Viator. I should probably put Viator in here. Uh, so lots of different things. So let me know what trainings you want to do for next month. And I hope you guys have an amazing day. Thank you, guys. We'll talk to you soon.